Welcome guys, this is Edwin and today we're going to be talking about the Snake CQC 10. That's right. And this guy has handles of Digicam and you know, let's look at it. Now, if you're not familiar of the CQC 10 model, let me show you right here. This is the CQC 10. Okay, I made a video about this model. The CQC-10 has a beautiful spear point, great handles. In this case, we're looking at an older model, okay, with a backspacer. In this case, you will have uh, standoffs right there. But again, very, very similar model. And the Snake CQC-10 is basically, they took the concept, the design of the CQC-10, and they marry it with the commander, the recurve of the commander in my opinion. Okay, I was showing this to the guys and you know, that recurve is very, very similar. It's almost a one-to-one, -one, I will say, between the two blades right there, like you can see. If I kind of overimpose this right here, that curve will go almost perfect right there, okay? Again, so it's basically taking that recurve of the commander and obviously, Obviously, you're having this sick, sick curve there to have that very fine point on that tip that is just crazy. Love it, love it. Let's look at and do some comparison with this knife real quick. This is how it compares with the Spyderco. Tenacious, in, term, in terms of dimensions, we're talking about a 3.5, 3.6 style inches of blade and 8.5 inches overall. In my case, perfect for EDC, perfect for everyday carry, great, great blade for that. Let me show you how it compares with the Buck 110 real quick right here. We know the Buck 110 is a big knife, right? So that's how it compares with the Buck 110. Now let's look real quick at that beautiful blade. Now you have this wicked switch going down right there. Very, very cool. And then your V grind on that blade, right? And when we are talking on a, about a V grind, we're talking about, you know, a blade that has been ground on this side and on the back as well, right? And then typical to Emerson's, then you have your chisel edge right there that is, you know, sharp as hell, right? Okay, so very, very cool. This is how that tip looks, okay? All right, see, I can focus that. So very nice tip right there. And in this case, again, model name Snake CQC10, Emerson Knives, right? You don't have a thumb stud right there. So for those guys that don't want to have a thumb stud, this is one great model for you, okay? And then you have your wave with the serial number right there of 112, if I can focus that nice there then of course the cqc 10 handle guys this is one of those handles that really surprised me when i got i don't know if it was the apache or the cqc 10 that has similar handles and when i got those handles and i put it in my hands it was like oh man i've been missing out you know great ergonomics very simple and it just works great okay you have this beautiful beautiful finger guard right here and then the whole thing just melts in your hand. You know, you have a little bit of, of positioning referencing here of Jinping. Jinping right here that tells you where you at. Okay, and same thing on reverse grip, right? That Jinping right here will tell you your positioning and where you at. Excellent, excellent reverse style of play to have. And again, normal hammer grip works excellent on the snake as well. Just like the CQC-10. Like you can see, I don't need to see, say, say it that much, but this one has that Digicam special handles that they were made in a limited release for this model. And then you have your classic Benchmade clip, and this is a modern style of folder, so it will have your standoffs instead of a back spacer. And again, a beautiful, beautiful blade. I think the black coating blade goes really well with this DG camo, okay? I think it looks very sexy, very nice. And again, we have one of those models that you don't see a lot, right? Usually you have a lot of thumb stud style 
of Blade, and you don't see a lot of these thumb holes uh, in the Emerson Knives lineup, okay? So again, the Snake CQC-10, that rare one, right, that came out in the same design philosophy of the CQC-10 with a little bit more aggressiveness, okay, with that recurve of the Commander, and again, excellent, excellent EDC style of carry in my opinion, if you're looking for a recurve. Now guys, if you have any other questions, feel free to jump in on YouTube, Instagram, USN forums, or the Facebook groups, right? ECOC or Emerson operators that were always there talking knives and having a great, great time, okay? You guys stay safe. Have a great day out there. Bye.